Hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our playthrough of Tropical 5. So uh, we are continuing... Oh wait a minute. Campaign autosave? Oh, I didn't save the... the campaign last time. Well, good thing it autosaves, right? I probably shouldn't rely on the autosaves. This game seems a little unreliable in terms of the UI. Anyway, mission we will endure, survive numerous invasions. So uh, I guess last time we had like an economy tutorial, or like an economy challenge I guess. Now we have a military challenge. Let's go ahead and... The thing about this island, I think, is that the front is narrower. Maybe that makes it easier to defend. Like if the front of the My island is tropicans. narrow. Today a new enemy rises to threaten oh, wait. my way of life, my freedom, and my strategic banana reserves. Without provocation, Ila Rojo has declared war on our great nation. Now is not the time for fear, Tropico. We will face this threat head on. And we will endure. We will defend our shores, and we will endure. Like our llamas, we shall spit in the eye of any enemy that treads on our soil. We will endure. Viva Tropico! The game? Great news! We found out how to use the muskets the Crown sent us. Apparently, all you have to do is pull the trigger. Our research was seriously hindered until we discovered you should not look into the barrel when pulling the trigger. <laughs> we lost a lot of good men that way. I didn't expect the game to continue us on our previous island. This is not just a random island. This is the island that we were playing last time. Like everything this, that's been built here was built last time. Um, armed forces, no education for soldiers. In fact, high school soldiers and militia squad raids. Additional militia squad raids and battles. High school soldiers, high effectiveness. No education for soldiers. Should we. I mean, do I have high, a high school? I don't even have a high school. What if I go for. militia? Additional militia squads raised in battles. High effectiveness. Maybe professional army. Secular state. Increased liberty, happiness. Fewer votes. Theocracy. Wealthy citizens vote. Sure, let's do that. Great news! We found out how to use the muskets. All right, great. Uh, Madam Presidente, next time you amend our constitution, could you please add in a bit where everyone is obliged to spend at least half their salary at the Jolly Roger? That would be a progressive law if ever there was one. Thank you uh, in advance, glorious ruler. Legalese, new constitution principles, political rights, labor policies, citizenship. White flag. Embassy, new diplomatic actions, praise. <laughs> Electricity, power plant. Uh, do I want to build a power plant? This seems expensive. So I think the best thing to do is to right away build a bunch of towers near the front here. Oh, I can't put them there. Like, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. All right, there you go. We have uh, diplomacy and espionage. Interesting. The allies' relations neutral. The Axis relations neutral. We need a free embassy, which we don't have. Oh, we don't have a. S okay, so we. Hi there, mates. This is Captain Lulu, Queen 
Queen of the Seven Seas, broadcasting from my piratey bar, the Jolly Roger. Arr! So, why all the pirate talk, I hear you ask? Just because everything is better with pirates. <laughs> uh, thanks, lady. So we we don't have any uh, we don't have a high school. So we don't have any uh, high school soldiers <laughs> because we don't have a high school. Does it matter where I put it? I'm assuming it doesn't matter where I put it. So let me just build a high school real quick so I can start recruiting soldiers to become high. Oh crap. <laughs> That's not good. Four squad, and they're attacking my towers, and my towers are not defended. Alright, well, I'm pretty screwed, huh? I am like 100% screwed. Well, let's see how this goes. Would I have lost straight away? Oh man, they've got 7,000 health. Oh, that's not good. Alright, we're just gonna immediately lose this battle. <laughs> okay. We have a perfect business opportunity. We can make a huge profit of the misfortune of others. I love this stuff. Both the allies and the Axis are in dire need of supplies. This means we can sell at a huge profit and they can't say no. Export 5,000 iron. If you accept this task, their respective offer from the allies will be cancelled. We have a perfect business opportunity. Export 5,000 coca. We can make a coca. huge profit of the misfortune of others. I love this stuff. I have a coca plantation, don't I? Coca, yes, I do. We have a perfect Let's business opportunity. Let's go for the coca. Now we have them right where we want them. Time for a little gouging. I really should see about getting myself a villainous laugh. <laughs> Right. Increase the price of coca by 20%. Minus 10 allies relations, plus 20 capitalist relations. Increase the price of coca by 10%, plus 10 capitalist relations. Do not increase the price. Minus 10 capitalist relations, plus 20 allies. Let's go for the, the middle of the road option. I'm not getting anywhere with this end. I'm definitely losing this battle. Quick build 2000. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Gila Rojo troops are attacking your newly independent country. This ridiculous conflict is undesirable. Put an end to it as soon as possible. The Order enforced a temporary ceasefire, but your enemies from Isla Rojo will attack again in full force the moment the ceasefire ends. I will do what I can to delay them while you prepare your defenses. My new apprentice, Ariana Diaz, will assist you with this task. Prepare for the invasion. Eight years, and then Isla Roja would fade. All right, so, so this is scripted. Uh, there's really nothing we can do about it. I don't think. But let's get this school built, and then let's train some, train some soldiers. According to your newly appointed Chief of Staff, General Panultimo, there is no better way to improve the defender's morale than sticking some flags in high places. 
Alright, I'm somewhat skeptical about the morale effect, but some new guard towers will surely prove useful against the invading force. Have five guard towers, delay the invasion by 18 months. Okay, well. Well, that's easy. Is this being built at all? Like, what are the. Are they building this? Construction office. Alright, they're going there. Oh, I have a manager. You don't I have a manager. Okay, lady. Provide to people living in the vicinity. The problem is that... I, I, just, I need to demolish one of these plantations so I have space around here to build more stuff. I believe. Can I build a, another coffee plantation somewhere else so I can delete this one? Coffee... Sure, let's stick that there. Demolish. Well, I'm gonna demolish this. And then we can... Oh, I don't have enough money for this, alright. Uh, let's wait for the money to come in. For a little bit. I wonder if I need more income. Well, there's the ship. money from this from these ships huh all right cool so a church apparently a church and a clinic can't fit that there so I put a clinic there and a church There. Alright, let's get the high school going. Edicts, building permit. Yep. And then. Let's try drill. I guess when we get invaded, we should do the military drill thing. Students, 8 out of 8. 8? You can only educate in. Can I increase that? I sent us 4,000 bucks, that's cool. Alright, we need to, like, we need a more high school. Okay, 15. Now, like, we have four teachers. We can educate 15 people at a time. Police station? Hold on, maybe. Let's check if we have any problems here. Crime and safety, entertainment, food, healthcare, housing, job, liberty, religion. 
right. Uh, country house, house. Housing quality is increased for each nearby house. Provides housing for 12 families. Housing quality drops over time. <laughs> Quality is increased for each nearby house. That's interesting. Oh, the country house provides its own food. But the housing quality is only 30. I do have a grocery here. And it's actually not making any money because nobody buys food. I see how this works. Um, what can I build? What's a cloth from wool and cotton? Textile mill, 15,000 rums. Oh, I should build these things too, huh? Restaurants? Entertainment for citizens and tourists in the vicinity. Cabaret, ancient ruins. I should build a police station. At some point... Maybe a college. Alright, police station. Wow, it's huge. Wow, look at that. What a big ass building. Where should I put it? Let's put it there. Graduate 1. That takes a while, huh? I'm gonna build a road across... ...there. And then maybe put some factories over there. Just the college? 16,000. Contacts everywhere, Presidente. Leon Kane, our mentor, introduced me to some shady characters residing on Ilo Rojo that might just help our cause. If we provide the right incentives, that is. I see. Those individuals offer to sabotage some of the enemy ships when the invasion commences for a price. Pay 10,000 bucks, weaken the invasion, sure. Why not? Now what did I say I want to build? Clinic, church, newspaper, grocery. I do have a newspaper, right? College. So 
going to build a college. And then I'm going to like transition the country houses into houses, I think. And then the factories, maybe the factories first, because this gives me money, right? Where is that? 15,000. 14,000, 19,000. Let's, let's build this stuff first, because holy crap, it's huge. Because this stuff gets me money, doesn't it? How do I know if the teamsters are overloaded? I guess when you see um, stuff piling up, not being delivered, that means it's overloaded. Oh, uh, foreign relations, we don't have an embassy yet. I have to oh, research the white flag. Right, electricity, okay, alright. And then we can build an embassy. Four graduates. <laughs> it's, it's quite slow. Education is an investment into the future. Overloaded. All right, up. Uh, approval is back to fifty two percent, more than half. That's good. Cash flow has increased. My books on psychology say I should offer you a reward so you'll start making smarter choices more often. Alright, five high school educated workers, don't really need it. 20% reduced building costs for all industry buildings for the next four years, not really. Let me just take the money in my Swiss bank account. <laughs> Actually, do I have enough to... I can level up. Look at that. What happens if I level up? Level up cost will decrease up on scenario completion. Alright, cool. I mean... Right? Effectiveness on maximum budget increased by 10. Uh, do I have a manager there? Yes. Let's put a tycoon there as well. 